officer? Why would you think he's someone impersonating a police officer? Why would he assume he isn't? Shelton is completely divorced from reality. For one, most people can't determine the difference between a cop and an imposter, especially if they're making active efforts to disengage from the interaction, which is legal. For another, plenty of cops, real cops, have been charged with rape and sexual assault. Um, it mentions that, and I'm like, we've covered those before. Um, and it also uh, mentions that cops will oftentimes follow somebody long enough that they weave or do something just because they're nervous that the cop is there and then use that as an excuse to pull them over. That's it. They do it all the time. So, friends, that's the dumdy of the day. I'm sure you can see why. You are listening to The Correct Views. Sam I B. DeGangi, reporting for the Media Speaks. Go to mediaspeaks.com and look up the work of Kyle, Court, D. Lake, and myself. <clears throat> also, <clears throat> looking for advertisers, so uh, let me know if you're interested. The Correct Views at hotmail.com, as well as that's where you can donate. All money you give to me goes towards a better show. Good night, friends. God bless, and thank you very much for tuning in. Don't let them put a chip in you.